onto entertainment. They say the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences don't disqualify Niger first ever submission for the best international future Oscar consideration, Lionheart, because of plenty English. Lionheart don't get strong reviews. Ogbonge actor Shingo Arize shook mad for the matter for a phone interview with Plus TV Africa. I guess that for every game there's all this rule, there are rules and regulations about every game. Mm. You know, like in football, you have your penalty, you have your offside trap, and the do's and don'ts in football. All right, so this is what um, I reliably gathered that happened because everybody's furious about about it. Um, I asked the question, what happened to South Africa when they entered Tutsi and won an Oscar for the foreign language uh, category? Mm -hmm. But I must understand that, yeah, Genevieve was very good in terms of... Uh, QC, she was good at quality control. Uh, Sound-wise, she was good. Everything was, was good. But uh, one of the things where I think she fell short was in terms of spoken language. If it's going to be foreign language, it has to be at least at least 60% of Igbo or Yoruba, and the rest, the rest of the 40% could be in, in English. That's what it is. But, but they fell short. They were about 20%. In terms of uh, foreign language, but about twenty percent Igbo. So that was a, a, a minus. So they couldn't call it foreign language film. Of course, we know that the English is our lingua franca. But if you're going to do a foreign, they said foreign language. They didn't say English film. They say in foreign language. I hope you get that clear. So the Oscar don't say film in English. They said a film in foreign language. Foreign, not the word foreign language. So it could have been Igbo, it could have been Hausa, it could have been French, it could even be Swahili. Because if you go back to Tutsi, Tutsi also had over 70% of their language spiced with English. Mm. And then, of course, the international politics of film was also involved. 